Hello and welcome to Nature and Environment and today I'm going to talk about llamas and their unique features. Before I do that, I'll try and situate myself within the historical context. Llamas are South American family, but they can be traced to North America. Llamas are wonderful animals. But there is scientific evidence to prove that llamas used to live in North America. However, there is scientific evidence to prove that llamas. There is scientific evidence to prove that llamas used to live in North America about 40 million years ago. However, during the Great American Interchange around 3 million years ago, the llamas in North America crossed to South America. But those in North America got extinct. Currently, the concentration of llamas is found in South America. Today, we would, it will surprise you to know that there are a lot of llamas in North America, in countries like Canada and USA. And the question that you ask is, how did they get in here? They got in here by importation. All those that we see them currently in North America are, they were imported from South America. Now let's look at the features of llama. Llama is a very huge animal, or mama, and it weighs between 130 kilogram to 275 kilograms and this is for a mature or a grown llama but there are instances where they may even way beyond this uh, range llamas are usually measures about 1.7 to 1.8 meters starting from the height the head all the way to the feet one thing that will amaze you so much about llamas is their life expectancy. Llamas can live for 15 to 25 years. Interestingly, there are some llamas who may even live beyond or go up to 30 years. Okay. Now, another unique feature about the llama has to do with their ears. The ears of the llama gives you an indication the mood of what the llama, right? So as you can see over here, when the ears are pecking upwards, it gives you an indication that the llama is happy and curious and also enjoying the very surrounding environment. On the other hand, when the ears are falling back, it gives you an indication that the llama is not what happy. And therefore the llama could be irritated and that is what an indication to what other creatures around that the llama is not you know comfortable within the uh, the present condition let's look at another feature of what the llama llamas are very social friendly and they approach people easily socially Llamas do fight, they engage in kicking, wrestling, and spitting. Kicking and wrestling are usually associated with male llamas, but spitting is commonly associated with what female llamas. Spitting is very important when it comes to the llamas family because there are two reasons for this. One is that they use spitting to communicate to you that they are not happy. And that has a big connection with what the ears falling back. Another important feature of the spitting is that it also is a way of disciplining the young ones. What happens is that when the llamas are angry or irritated, they spit in order to put the young ones in order. Now let's look at another interesting thing. When it comes to mating, it will amaze you so much about llamas. What is it all about? In the case of mating, 
we usually know that with the huge animals like uh, the cow, the horse, the elephant and others, what they do most of the time is that they are able to during mating, what they do is that they climb over the the male climb over the female to do the crossing. But in the case of lame, it will surprise you to know that they lie down and they do kwapule, which is very uh, wonderful. And it is similar to that of what the big cats. Gestation is also another wonderful thing when it comes to lame. What they do during gestation is that they are able to hold their baby for 11.5 miles which is quite way beyond that of what human beings which is around uh, 9 miles in the case of llamas there is also one unique thing about them most big mamas are able to lick their young ones when they are what brought forth but with the case of llamas they are not able to lick their young one. Why is the case so? It's simply because they have a tongue that they were attached within the mouth. Therefore, they find it difficult to bring it out to lick their young ones, which are called the cryos. In Spanish, word, it means what? Young baby. Now, it will also amaze you or interest you to know that llamas are very intelligent animals. And in North America, what they do is that llamas are being trained to serve as what gas. What they do is that they are able to what keep off predators such as coyotes and cougars, which is another unique thing about what llamas. Now let's look at the last component of llamas. Llamas are very wonderful. The scientific community has discovered that llamas contain antibodies that can be used to what treat so many diseases and currently there is an ongoing research on llamas to help treat coronaviruses such as COVID-19 and SARS. At this point what I want to do is that while I've given you much of the books but I will talk to my good friend who is called Nathan and they are working right in the field here and they know much about llamas and he's going to give us a good practical knowledge about what is happening in the field. Hello Nathan. And how are you today? Not too bad. How are you? Though? Okay, I'm also good. And today we're going to talk about, you know, the llamas uh, a bit. And you guys are already in the field. We we do much from the books. How old is this llama? This llama here is about four or five years old. I, I don't know exactly right off the top of my head, but I do believe that's how old she is. Oh okay. So is it difficult to treat llama okay. care for them and all that? So it's not as hard as you might think. It's pretty easy to feed them. So her meals we have, um, we feed her twice a day and we usually give her large portions so that she's never hungry. So we feed her, obviously she gets her water to drink, but we give her a mix of hay and then we feed her barley as well, like the grain, you can feed them that. And then we also give her this, it's almost like a dried up grain, like it's dried up from hay and grain, it's called hay stretch, you can buy it at any local um, feed store, yeah, the llamas love to eat that. Oh. We, we know that the, most of the llamas are concentrated in the tropical area, the, the very warm areas. Yep. But now that they are in Canada, care for them during winter and all that. Well, they are, they do grow quite the coat, so we let them grow their fur out as opposed to shaving them down. Obviously, we have fur shaved down, people shaved down recently, as you can see here, uh, in the summertime because of the heat. But in the wintertime, we keep her indoors in the barn and we have heat in the barn for her, so she's never cold and we let her grow out her fur. So she, she doesn't get cold. Uh, how does the llama behave? Um, she's really, really good around people. Uh, we've never had her. She's really well behaved around people. I mean, I'm standing here, I can pet her down, no problem. So she's really friendly in her ear. She's quite happy with that. Um, and towards other animals, I've never really saw, seen her get uh, aggressive towards other animals. So, uh, beside you guys, you know, railing these ones for recreational purpose, uh, do you have any other intention for keeping this uh, uh, llamas? Uh, no, we kind of have her for, because we are a petting brown here in Newfoundland and Labrador. So we kind of have her bought into, uh, she has a very easy life. Uh, she's bought in so we can show people like different kinds of animals because you wouldn't expect to see a llama here in Newfoundland. So she's pretty 
much hair for our show purposes. Okay, so you'd want to have a good bit of land or property to have a llama and be able to have the proper housing for them. So you'd want to have a nice enclosed space that you could keep. Okay. So what what does he feed on? Uh, aside from what we feed her, our llamas will eat like pretty much herbs and greenery. So like you can see, she's after eating the leaves and she's eating the grass there and the hay, obviously. So does he mean? Basically, it's a lot of greens. Correct. Yeah, it's a herbivore animal. Oh, okay. But one time, I think you the kids feeding them with a kind of you know, prey uh, made feed. Yes, it's called hay stretch. So it is, it's a, it is a modified feed, but it does come from hay. So it is a natural, natural feed. Oh, okay. Okay. Could you give us your final word on llama? Um. Yeah. I um. I think they're great animals, and if you're ever in the area here. Um, in the near Alexis Farm Chalet, we'd be more than happy to have people to come in and see her. They're definitely a great animal to have a look at and check out if you have the opportunity to see one. So, at this point, I want to say a very big thank you to Leicester Farm Chalet. They have done very well by giving us the opportunity to take this video on llamas. And I really appreciate what they, are, they have done for me and the good work they are doing for the world as a whole. Uh, I just want to say, uh, do subscribe to my page, share and like. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.